Hey guys, this is my review on the Azatom Storm Bluetooth speaker. So it comes in a fairly big box, a bit bigger than necessary. And in the box, it contains some protection foam, user manual, charging cable. This speaker is actually charged through the mains rather than through USB. 3.5 millimeter audio cable and last but not least the speaker itself so I'm going to run through some of the main features of this speaker it comes with a twin 52 millimeter driver and twin passive woofers which produces a rich sound and powerful bass it also comes equipped with a digital uh, digital sound processor microchip which ensures superior sound quality the wireless range is up to 12 meters so that's around two meters more than the average bluetooth speaker the battery life lasts up to 15 hours which is plenty of power and it also has a voice status alerts which uh, tells you when the device is powered on uh, connected or disconnected etc so now we're going to test the maximum volume and sound quality of these speakers so first of all i have to turn it on first And it has a NFC technology, which stands on near field communication technology. So it will automatically connect to my phone uh, because the Bluetooth is already turned on. And now I'm going to play a track to let you know how loud it goes. As you can see, the maximum volume does go really loud and the sound quality is not distorted either. So on the functions of this speaker, you could uh, decrease the volume, increase the volume, uh, play and pause. You can also take phone calls uh, using this button as well because it has a built-in microphone here. The only thing you can't do is you can't skip to the previous track or skip to the next track, which I'm not too sure why because it's quite basic functions. So there are a couple of things I'd like to mention. First of all, this blue flashing LED light, which tends to flash every couple of seconds. Although this is standard for most Bluetooth speakers, but it can be quite irritating, especially on this speaker, because it's located in a place where it's directly in front of you, whereas some Bluetooth speakers might have it located in a more of a discreet place. Uh, second of all, the charge time is said to be between three to eight hours. If it does take up to eight hours to fully charge up the speaker, it is a fairly long charge time, but the battery life being up to 15 hours, I suppose, does compensate for it. But overall, the superior sound quality you get with these speakers, and it's very reasonably priced as well, it's definitely worth a buy. For a full detailed review, click on the link in the, in the description below. Thanks for watching.